Akara are one of my favourite smart home manufacturers because they're always thinking outside the box, which means that their new doorbell can do this. Answer the bloody door. <laughs> Answer the bloody door. <laughs> Probably more importantly, because their camera systems offer 24 7 recording, which is super rare anyway, but get this seven days free cloud storage. Shit. Shit. I haven't made my head explode for quite some time. Should I? Would that help punctuate that sentence? Free cloud storage? Thanks to Akara for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their Akara G4 doorbell. Not only does this doorbell have free cloud storage, it also has HomeKit support on a budget and full support for HomeKit secure video, which is just wonderful if you happen to be a, an Apple fanboy. Lord Vader, when we hacked Paul Hibbert, did we scare him away from Windows? Oh hi, he's a right Apple fanboy now. Good. Good. I only use my Mac for video editing, don't at me in the comments. For me, it's more important that it works with Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and if this then that. But if you do happen to be into the whole Apple ecosystem thing, this is the doorbell for you. I love this thing's massive button. It is screaming to be pressed, and it actually lights up blue as you approach it. Which if you have delivery drivers like mine, is kind of important. It runs off six perfectly normal AA batteries, which is great. It means that when it's low on charge, you don't have to bring it into the house to charge it, leaving the front of your house vulnerable for any length of time. You just swap the batteries out and put it straight back up. And Akara reckon you'll get four months battery life out of this, which for comparison's sake is a whole month and a half longer than the Nest Hello doorbell. It comes with a wedge backplate if you wanted to angle the doorbell, and a plug-in chime, which I have confirmed with Akara is necessary because this thing cannot sadly ring your existing chime. And this is another ingenious part of this setup. If you don't want the cloud storage, then Akara have put a memory card slot not in the doorbell, where it could be stolen, they've put it in the chime. The chime is a little base station for the doorbell and the chime acts as a repeater for the doorbell to improve its signal range, which is just stupendously clever. It has a tamper alarm too, so if this thing is removed unexpectedly from the wall, you'll know about it, and so will your burglar. Star Trek noises! Hey, it stops if you put it back! <laughs> There's an incentive for the burglar to put it back! And even if your burglar jammed your Wi-Fi, you would still find out about it, because this thing all runs locally. The setup of all this is a car as usual affair of tell the app to search, and then hold a button on a thing. HomeKit setup is also the usual affair of scan a QR code on a thing and then sit back and marvel as the Galactic Empire laughs at its gargantuan bank balance. <laughs> Akara's routines have always been very much, if a thing happens, make a thing happen. And this enables you to do practically anything because the doorbell advertises the following triggers to your Akara base station. The doorbell has a low battery, the doorbell's button has been pressed, the tamper alarm has been triggered, a known face has been detected, an unknown face has been detected, and motion has been detected. Off the back of these triggers, you could have it so that if the doorbell detected a particular face, then it would turn the light bulb on in the porch, if you have an Akara based light bulb, and then it would play a custom ringtone. Akara did this in their advert. 
Oh, you pressed it this time, did you? Instead of dumping it on the floor and f***ing off like you normally do, you useless sack of shit. That's not their real advert. But if it could be, I mean, you could actually do that, using facial recognition to trigger a series of events, and one of those events is to use a custom ringtone. Don't use that one, though. Weird. The Akara G4 is smart. Really smart, because it's Akara. 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 Get to the point. Probably the most important feature for me personally is the one that I demonstrated at the beginning of the video, where if the doorbell is pressed, you can automatically load the feed on an Echo Show, or on a Fire TV, or on basically any Amazon-based screen device. No, no, no. Answer the bloody door. <laughs> you can also do the same thing for Apple TV, and all of the AI processing is done locally on this which is completely mental. The doorbell's chime is actually the brains of the operation. And all of the AI processing that is done on this thing includes facial recognition, but also for loitering detection, which could be used as a trigger for an equally unpleasant message. You useless sack of shit. Once you enable facial recognition in the app, it starts recognizing faces, and you can start putting names to them just like you would with Nest. You can then create a routine in the Akara app that would have the chime play a custom recording for faces that it recognized. Oh, the sick bee! <laughs> On top of all this, at the press of one single button, you can change your voice to protect your privacy. This is pretty weird. This, this is a robot voice. No worry, if, if you were wanting to use a slightly different voice to communicate with people on your doorstep, you could use clown voice. They'll probably just scare people away, so if you really want to disguise your voice, I recommend Uncle. You obviously saw at the beginning of the video how quickly the feed loaded on my Echo Show. And this is probably the fastest I have seen of any camera I have been sent so far. But I'm absolutely astounded at the reaction time on it, not only for two-way talk, but also for the reaction time of the picture. They've implemented Alexa doorbell notifications too, which is pretty cool. But more exciting to me is the implementation of Alexa routines, because a press of the doorbell could turn a porch light on or do something far more interesting. Answer the bloody door. <laughs> it's, it's more interesting. To me. You you might be a grown-up, but uh, it's what I like. I'm sorry to interrupt the episode, but the doorbell is ringing? I haven't installed it yet. It's carol singers. He's, he's doing the Love Actually thing. It's very cute. I had no idea he was going to do this. He <laughs> just sent me this. Well, that gives you an idea as to what the doorbell quality is like. That was Stu from Stu's Reviews. Please do like and subscribe. This doorbell has a 1080p camera with a 162 degree field of vision. And drawing comparisons again with the Nest Hello battery doorbell, it's a similar level of quality, but the Nest has a much narrower field of view. I don't have one for comparison, but 145 degrees is a lot less driveway coverage for a lot more money. The image quality at 1080p is nothing to write home about, of course, but it does give you enough of an idea as to who is at the door and whether you want to give them abuse. The time between a doorbell press, a notification, a video feed loading up, and the ability to speak to someone is so short 
considering that I'm currently oh, using nice. it on battery power. And the Akara interface for browsing through your timeline has always been one of my personal favorites. You can set individual colors to individual things. So if you have multiple cameras with Akara, your cat camera, which monitors your pet, could have a blue color in the timeline, whereas your doorbell could have a purple color, and then you'd be able to look through the timeline and go, that was the cat, that was the doorbell. I really, really like this interface. This isn't something that's wrong with it, especially. It's more something that's worth noting. If you want to record 24 seven, you will need an SD card plugged into the chime of a maximum of 512 meg, and you will need to power the doorbell with wiring. If you don't power the doorbell, 24 seven recording is gonna kill the battery pretty quick. And finally, the triggers for Alexa routines. The only trigger so far is the doorbell press. It would be nice if there was a trigger for Alexa routines that was motion, because then I could have someone walk towards the house and have the porch light come on, whether they press the doorbell or not. You can of course do this with a car's ecosystem, but you can't do this if you wanted to use an Alexa enabled bulb that isn't part of the Acara system. I've raised this with Acara and they've said that they're gonna take that on board, pass it onto the development. I can't recommend this thing enough. I think it's absolutely a killer to all of the other doorbells. If they could just get better picture quality on this exact same thing, it would just end the market. Akara would completely take over. If you want one of these doorbells, again, I can't recommend it enough. It is probably my favorite doorbell ever. And if you want one, they are linked in the description below as usual. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube's algorithms know you want to be notified when I upload videos. There's incredible people here on my patrons from Patreon, and I know I say it every week, and I probably annoy you with it every week, but I can't help but keep saying it because they're the best people in the universe. Without them, there would be no channel, and if you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there, and I'll keep you best friends. See you next time. <laughs> That's not a bad emperor laugh. I'm quite impressed with that. <laughs> the bigger the button, the better. Wow, that's a really weird sentence. <laughs> the bigger the button, the better. <laughs> that's not their real advert. You could do that though. You could do that, but don't do that. I mean, you could do that, but, uh, but don't do that. <laughs>